In order to maximize the speed of a computer, or reduce the power consumption of the computer, we want to minimize the size of our circuits. In this lecture, I will provide a definition of minimal Boolean expressions and present a useful set, but by no means exhaustive set, of Boolean identities that can help you minimize the size of your circuits. When we translate a truth table into a Boolean expression, we normally begin by finding every row that has an output of 1. We can translate these rows into expressions by using a complemented variable when we see zeros and non-complemented variables when we see ones and adding those literals together. Because these variables are added together, we call it a product term. We can find the product term for this third row, fifth row, and eighth row with the same procedure. Finally, we OR the product terms together. As a quick aside, a literal is a variable that is either complemented or not complemented in a product term. So this expression has three variables, four product terms, and six literals. If a product term contains all three variables like these, it is called a min term. We number min terms for convenience, and so the number of the min term corresponds to the binary number of the row that generated the product min term. So this is min term 1, min term 2, min term 4, and min term 7. A minimal form of a Boolean expression is one which first minimizes the number of product terms, and then, among expressions with the minimal number of product terms, it has the fewest literals. Let's consider this truth table. There are two ways to create a Boolean expression from this truth table. The first method is to OR the min terms together, just like we did. This method would yield a fairly large, complex circuit. If you are observant, though, you might have realized that this is the truth table for the OR operation. Not surprisingly, this expression yields a much simpler circuit and is the minimal circuit for this truth table. The first expression has three product terms and four literals, but the second expression has only two product terms and two literals. So the obvious question is, how do we prove that these two circuits are equivalent? One tool among many tools that we can use to simplify expressions is the Boolean identities. Here I present four of the basic identities. Each of these identities appears in two forms, one based on the OR operation and one based on the AND operation. These truth tables here can be used to prove these identities. If you want to spend some more time looking at these and memorizing these identities, they're all available at the end of the video, so feel free to fast forward to see a single table with all of the identities. The next property is called the distributive identity. Again, the distributive identity has an OR and AND focused versions. Form 1 should be fairly intuitive as it is analogous to the distributive property in algebra. Notice how the form 1 distributes both the literal and the AND operation across the OR operation. Form 2 does the same thing and distributes both the literal and the OR operation across the AND operation. Alright, let's put these identities to work. Up here we have our minimal, our non-minimal solution, and down here we have our minimal solution. And over here I have the Boolean identities that I just finished describing. So when I look at this expression here, the first thing I notice is that this product term and this product term differ by one literal. As well as I, what I notice is that this product term and this product term also differ by one literal. So I kind of want to, I'm going to want to have two copies of this one. So I can use the idempotence here, which tells me 
that I can reproduce this and it's still going to be the same expression. So I have x prime or y. I'm going to produce a duplicate here of x, y. And then I'll just keep the rest of this the same, x or y and y prime or x and y. The next, I want to use distribution because now that I have these common liber literals, I'm going to do two distributive properties and I'm going to have x prime or x anded with y. I'm pulling out the and and the y. Or I'm going to pull out this x here. So I'm going to have x, y prime, or y. Now, so since I have this x prime or x, that's going to be my complementarity property. And I can see that x or x prime is equal to 1. So I have 1 anded with y or x anded with 1. Finally, I have I can use this identity property where I have x and y. 1 is equal to x, so this is just going to be equal to y or x. So now I can see that I have f is equal to x or y. Just to be able to recap, and you can see what I did step by step, here is everything in its gory detail. So we've just finished learning how to translate a truth table into a Boolean expression, and then how to minimize that Boolean expression with the Boolean identities. Remember, <clears throat> a minimal form of a Boolean expression is one that implements the expression with the fewest number of product terms, and then the fewest number of literals. Minimizing a Boolean expression is a skill that takes a good deal of practice, so I recommend doing as many practice problems as you can for this topic so that you can become adept at remembering the Boolean identities and then knowing when to use them.